All right, today I'm going to be showing you an overview of my new modding tools. Let's just get straight into it. So to download it, you just go to my new website. It's not on the old one, but you can just go down here, wait for modding tools. Not the custom app setups, just the basic ones right here. So you can GitHub download, download through the site, and then there's older versions, which goes to the GitHub and just has all the releases so you can just download it through here or through there I'm not going to since I already have it obviously but yeah so once you have it downloaded you all you have to do to start is double click the exe and here you are so there's the main page the getting started it's kinda messed up don't listen to that um, settings so you can change whatever theme color you want you and currently there's only one tool so it's not very complicated uh, I'll just show you how to use it so for the tag it's obviously we're gonna just make Canada as an example so tag Canada capital um, it's a state ID so whatever something like that Research slots, you have to have at least one, and I think the max is 10. Although, you'll never be using 10 in a Hoi 4 game. Base stability, let's just say 0.2, because country's dying. War support, 0 0.01. These, don't, it doesn't matter what value it is, as long as it's between one, but it'll automatically set that for you. Political power, convoys are, Starting political power and convoys are optional. Let's just say zero political power. <laughs> Conscription, volunteer only. You get to pick the options as well. If something on here isn't what you want, or if you have a custom conscription law, you can just write it in here. Just write whatever and make sure not to change click up or down. As It works for all of these three. So, let's just say, free trade, civilian economy. All right, for other ideas, you just put them in here. So, I have a couple examples, but make sure not to put the hashtags in front of them. So, if you had an idea, like, that was like, cat, you just put it like that. Anything with a hashtag in front of it will be ignored. Click save, close that. Technology, same thing. I'm just gonna use the examples. Make sure they're each on their own line. Close. Naval technologies. So, naval technologies, this is the legacy. And then there's also the MTG. So man the guns, technology, naval tech. You have to do both of them for your mod. And whether or not your country is a puppet of another country, let's just say it is. Um, we'll do the UK. Puppet, Dominion. This is not currently finished. That is not either. Politics. So this is what your country currently is. So let's just say communist. This is the year of your last election. So year, month, day. And make sure the period's there. Frequency, 48. I believe it's in months. Allow elections, no. Yeah. Um, and then you can just randomize it or you can manually write in. Just make sure these values right here add up to 100. Otherwise, it won't work in game. It'll still export, I believe, but it won't work in game. That should be good. The OOBs. So you can override these so you can change them. But by default, it's just going to put your tag and then what the Hoi4 equivalent like the general Hoi4 thing is. So just keep that all the same. Click save. Desktop. 
I already made it. Let's just replace it. Here we are. So as you can see, it's all done. All right, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. And as a side note, if you are gonna make your country a puppet of another country, um, just make sure to actually, if you get this error where it says something random or doesn't say anything, just make sure to manually just copy and paste it. Uh, I have it fixed for the new version. I'm not sure really why it didn't work in the older version the new version is going to be coming out soon so i don't think you're going to really have to worry about it but yeah if you do get that issue just make sure to paste one of these ones right there all right